Aristide Pierre Henry Brian, born on 20th March 1862 in Nantes in France, died on 7th March 1932 in France, was a French statesman who served 11 terms as Prime Minister of France during the French Third Republic. He is mainly remembered for his focus on international issues and reconciliation politics during the interwar period 1918 to 1939. Aristide Brian said, live to learn. Forget and learn again. That's what we all do every day. We eat when we eat, we eat with full of taste. Full of taste. And then it's gone to the restroom. Keeping the moment you keep, it is called constipation. Same on the money, same on the on what you study also. Live to learn. The moment you learn, you learn with full consciousness, with full of passion. That is very important when you go to learn. Before you go to learn, you have to turn your pages, your chapter before you enter the class. So when the teacher teaches anything, you understand and you can always ask a question back. This is for the school children I'm talking about. When you learn, you drop the L. And then you start earning. Earning means you start getting the fruits of what you learn and you put it on a daily basis in your daily life. Every subject to what you learn, you should not miss it because your time, your energy, your focus and the people surrounding you, you are thinking only your time, your energy is very important. But you see, the amount of people surrounding you, your father, mother, mm. your cousins, father, mothers, friends, then the joint family and then the school teachers, you are thinking you are alone. So many people are involved. So, when you earn, you have to make sure that you put it into everyday's practice, nothing is wasted. These people surrounding you are not stupid people, they are highly qualified in experience, highly qualified in trying to show you a much better path than what they are, because everybody is interested, the next generation should not suffer. Live to learn, not dead bodies. Swami Vivekananda said people are walking like dead bodies. No, no, no. You have to be conscious. To be conscious, I said continuously, keep selling. you must practice your Sanskrit early morning. And to practice your yoga, move to the land, understand the rainwater house, to understand the sunlight, convert into solar. These are living. When you have lived with the nature, when you hug the nature, when you embrace the nature, then you have understood everything in the whole world, just this one. You don't have to learn so many books. Just one thing will make you understand because you'll be conscious of everything which is coming across you. You can read them also. Read the people, read the nature, and you read everything. Live to learn and then forget it. Yes, what happens is people try to hold on. When you hold it, it runs away. We keep it open. It stays, goes the same. So what you learn, just empty it up. Because your brain is so powerful, every cell in the brain, they catch it. And if you're going to hold it, you feel a heavy headache. You feel it is too much. But the brain, we don't know how it works, but it just forgets. And when the time comes, it answers without thinking, it strikes without thinking. Have you seen that? that kind of a power the brain has got. So what do we study? Just forget it. And you can see a creative thought coming and you can explain it in varieties of ways. And then learn again. The process should continue again. And when you learn again, you make sure that you are Kaisan. Every day one improvement, either on your house, outside the house, outside the road, you will find out how best you can keep the drains clear before the rains come. On the summer time, how to make sure that the birds are fed with water kept everywhere. How to bring the heat down. How to drip irrigate the plants without they dying. All those is learn again. That's the learn. Live to learn. You forget. And then learn again means when once you learn again, you are double conscious. Nothing is wasted. The money which is given into your hand. You know how to hold it and deposit it in, in the ways you want it for each department to run. 
That is your strength. If you do not know that money comes from your salary, it is gone very next day because you are joined hands with the pickpocketers. They give you loan and they pickpocket from your whole body, from your mind, create stress in you, destroys you by taking more money. So don't take any loan, whatever little you have. You have to make sure that is the beauty of saving, first save and then spend.